Hi, welcome back to Cloud Security. Today we're going to install WordPress inside of a cloud environment so that everybody can get to your WordPress site. This will be a new version of WordPress and it will be the first time that I've installed the brand new latest release of WordPress. So we're going to see if this works or not. <laughs> okay, so we'll see. We'll see it together. Uh, but one of the things that we should remember is uh, this is going to be the last video of the series. Anything we do with security in the cloud program, you can check other videos. Uh, you can look uh, into other resources, but this is where we're going to stop. And then for future resources, you can look at hardening a system, authentication to a system, how do you set up firewalls and other things of that sort. But let's go ahead and get our cloud instance up and running. If you don't have something to secure, then security is really not useful. Now what we have here in the var www.html directory is nothing. So we've got nothing in that directory. So if I go over to my, my web server, then you'll see index of slash, nothing's there. That, that I'm gonna run over. We got Debian running there, Apache 2459, and uh, that's our name that we got from DuckDNS right there. Nothing's there. So let's go ahead and walk through the process to, uh, to install WordPress. We will need to uh, go ahead and grab a couple of resources here, and I will put this in the description. So if you don't have anything in your description or um, if you can't read this, then you know this should be a description. And I'm going to do an app get update as well before I run this. So I'm going to app get update. I am logged in as root, and it doesn't matter at this point, but I am in the var www HTML directory. So right there, I'm going to do an update. That semicolon means the same thing as pressing enter. I'm going to do an app get install, install the recommends for Apache 2, which we already have, PHP and all the little modules and things like that that you commonly need for different frameworks. So, you know, once that's run through and it's done its thing, then we'll go through and uh, we'll grab the MariaDB server. So we're gonna go grab MariaDB. We're not gonna be using MySQL, we'll be using MariaDB. So, just like that. So go ahead and grab that, download that server, and if there's anything, if you do have any problems, then, you know, purge whatever gave you a problem and, and move on. Now, let's go ahead and grab our WordPress image. So I need to go to a WordPress site and find that image. So I'm going to go over to WordPress, do WordPress org. Uh, if I just do WordPress download. Go right over here. Okay, download it yourself. Got this and it just downloaded to my system. So let's right click, choose copy link, and I'm gonna click the installation guide there. Now I copied the link because I don't need to download it to my PC. I need to download it right over here to this system. So I'm gonna go over and do a wget with that link and that is latest.zip is what we just got. Now you might need to app get. So if you need to app get install uh, 7zip, Gun zip, anything like that, or unzip, etc. Then go ahead and grab those and get those installed as well. Now I got the latest zip. I'm going to go ahead and unzip that latest. All right. So now we have a WordPress directory with a whole bunch of files in it. So we're going to have to pop into that and kind of see how that works. Before I get in there, I'm going to type MySQL to see if MariaDB is running. Excellent. MariaDB is operational. It's running great. So I'm happy with that. Now let's go over and I'm going to uh, unzip. Let's see. Got that. Go to WordPress here. Inside of WordPress. Let's see what kind of stuff we need. Got a readme HTML. Let's check that out. installed this version so it looks like we do need to go ahead and create the database and set it up so 
let's go ahead and do that. We'll go back over to our server. On our server, we're going to go ahead and do a MySQL. Once we come in here, we're going to do a Create Database. And we'll call it WordPress. Why not, right? Now, there was some problem in the past with the default character set. So I'm just going to pop that line in there to make sure that works right there. Now, the next thing I do is I'm going to pop in a SQL user. So right there, it's identified by the password password. And then I'm going to go through and do that over the internet as well. So there we go. So we've got those commands in there. And I'll pop out of here. So got that done. Now WordPress apparently needs us to touch an HT access. So if I if I'm not in this directory, let me pop out of the WordPress directory. Just so you can see where I'm at, I'm right here. I'll touch that HT access file inside the WordPress directory. Don't know if it really needs that or not, but we're going to go by their config and we'll see kind of what they're doing with it. Now I'm going to cop copy the sample config right there over to the config.php file. Then we will make the WP content upgrade directory. And now we're going to change everything to dub 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 data as far as the owner of everything for WordPress. So we now need to pop in. Let's just go back to HTML directory right here where we're at. And we're going to set all the permissions here. So we're going to set those permissions. And then we're going to go through and set those permissions just like that. So we're going to run through and do that. Now let's go in and change the configuration file. So the VI WordPress config right there. DB name right there, the database name here. You know, it's WordPress. Two messes right there. The username is SQL underscore user, SQL underscore user. Make sure, make sure I can see this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the password is password. Well, that makes it easy. Just delete that password. And localhost is our host. And that is correct. So WordPress, SQL user, password, localhost. Great. Save that file. So that's saved. Now let's go through and we're going to make sure that we have a virtual host configured inside of Apache and it goes into the right place. You know what? Let's make this just a WordPress site. We're going to forget virtual virtual host because we're just not doing that right now, right? We're, we're doing it right here. So I'm going to remove latest, latest.zip, got rid of that, and I'm going to move WordPress. And when I do this move right here, uh, there is an option for, like, let's see if there's anything, you know, dot. We have a dot HD access. We only have one dot file. But we go here and do a dot, comma, like this, star to dot slash, like this. And then if we do an LL A to WordPress, like that, you'll see that nothing's left. So what this does for us, if we do this braces, dot, comma, and then with the star there, it's, well, let's see if we can get this to echo out. We'll see if we can make this thing echo. If we can, nope, it didn't work. <laughs> did not work. Um, but what it does, oh, yes, it did. Oh, my goodness, it did. It does the uh, my move right there, WordPress.star, and move WordPress star to our current directory. That's what those braces expansion do for us right there. So let's look inside here, and you can see that we're now in var www html, and all of this stuff is right here. Let's uh, let's try it. So we're gonna give it a shot and, and see if it works. Right? The worst that could happen is it doesn't work. Restart Apache. So service Apache two. Restart. Pop over to the web page here. So index, I'm gonna refresh that, which is my name. 
it's coming up well English so far English US site title and we'll say this is a CYB 690 demo site username admin password confirm the use of weak password my email install. We're going to see if this thing works. We're going to find out. Choose install here. Um, yeah, sure. Remember that. It says it worked. So let's choose login. Make that not so big. Admin with password. That's my password there. So I'm going to choose login. And it says welcome to WordPress. So we're going to go to welcome to WordPress site here. And everything is working. Let's go through and look at our appearance. Go to themes. And let's pick a theme here, which let's choose this one. Activate at 2023. It's 2024. So I activated 2024, 2023. I'm going to go back over my website, which is CYB. 690techdns.org and now we've got this sample site sample page right there so you got wordpress everybody can get to this site now uh if you did make your password password <laughs> and your administrator name admin you will probably be hacked before the day is over if you want to be hacked hey you know check it out um but you don't want hackers to like distribute any kind of malware from your host and make you look guilty. So don't use the same name and password that I just used. I'm gonna be shutting down this, this site, so it's not gonna be a problem for me. But in any case, that's WordPress. It worked extremely well. Um, everything went right in. So you can create things on it or whatever you wanna do. I hope that this has helped and I look forward to talking to you sometime in the future.